People are calling, very sounding very desperate, crying, upset. People are just really having a hard time. Hey guys, welcome to Hoffman Happenings. Nadia here. And today's video is a little bit different this week, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, I have not been able to go shopping at all. I have been in the midst of a winter storm here. I live in Texas, and if you have not heard, we have had a very bad winter storm come through. It came on Sunday and it hasn't left. Thousands of people are without power right now. Um, schools are closed, grocery stores, everything is shut down. Um, we had about five to six inches of snow, which is completely unheard of here in Texas. What in the world is a snow drift? I haven't seen that in like 20 years. What is going on? This is horrible. Especially in Southern Texas where I live. So yeah, I do not have a haul, I apologize. I have not been shopping because the stores have been closed. I was a little disappointed because I did order those um, white little bunnies from Dollar Tree. I ordered online and they actually came in. I wanted to pick them up, but Dollar Tree is closed right now. So I thought I would just kind of give you a day in a life of what it's been like. Um, we have been so blessed here where I'm at. We have not lost power, not once. Knock on wood, fingers crossed, we don't lose it. Um, I think because we are on the same grid as the hospital, which you can see like next door. So, um, and sorry, you can probably, <laughs> might be a little noisy here. My boys have a friend over and school has been closed. It's gonna be closed the rest of the week. Um, today is Wednesday, so they just announced that school's gonna be closed for Thursday and Friday. Now again, my kids were on a little winter vacation. They were off last Thursday and Friday and Monday this week. So now they have four days where they you know, will be um, home. So yeah, it's a little crazy right now. Sorry it's a little loud because my boys have a friend over and they've been just kind of playing and we don't do a lot of play dates of course with COVID, but we have one friend that lives down the street that we kind of see they've been playing outside and now they're up playing video games they had some hot chocolate so my husband is outside shoveling <laughs> so yeah let's go outside and see what he's up to out there oh boy here we are whoops putting on my scope Oh, this garage needs work. Look at what Chris is doing. Let's see. <laughs> what? I'm taping you. Careful, don't fall. It's slippery. Does that really work? I do just we have a shovel? This. Do we have like a regular no, shovel? No, but this actually, we used to do this in Michigan when it would be melted and stuff. Actually works better than a shovel. Okay, that's just weird. I've never used a rake in the winter. No. <laughs> Your dad never used a snowblower either. <laughs> nope. We never owned one. Look at that's melting. This is when I wish we had gutters. We don't have gutters. Are hers working? Our neighbor's gutters. Hmm? Careful, don't slip. Did you just quit? Am I just slipping? <laughs> School day, school's out. And it's cold. I've got my <laughs> and flip flops and a sock on. <laughs> I ain't going out. I ain't going out. Oh, so re. You're gonna put that out? Topsoil. Top yeah, we don't need it. What was the last time I used it? It was it for grass? Was it for grass? Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a ice layer. 
we just need warm weather and everything will just ooh the wind. I'm not gonna make it careful. Oh, there we go. Great, that's all we need to bring in the house now, top soil. <laughs> I want to show you, we do have power um, and we have been trying to conserve as best as we can. We have all of our, um, like my sink, all the faucets are on a slow drip. We covered up the outdoor water faucets, all of that. Um, I grew up in New Hampshire <laughs> and as you saw, my husband's from Michigan. We've lived in Texas now for what, 12 years? And this is probably the second time that we've had like major snow, but it's the first time that we've ever had power out this long. I mean, I feel so bad for people. And if you are out there from Texas, I feel for you, praying for you. I hope you are well. Um, it's just been hard. And, you know, we are here, we have power, but we are prepping as if it may go out. We have really low water pressure. Um, yeah, it's really low, but we're glad that we have water. Please pray for everybody here in Texas. I can't imagine so many people are out. Um, they haven't had electricity in like two days or even more. So we were supposed to have the rolling outages where like every hour, every 30 minutes, but I don't know anyone that's had that. Some people, or everybody that I've talked to, they've lost power for, for hours and hours. I thought I'd just kind of let you <laughs> see um this is our kitchen right here um this our like refrigerator is now starting to just um lose like pressure water pressure we have water but now it's starting to get a little bit a little bit bad um but you know we'll take that at least we have water right so we're still able to shower and use the toilet and all of that so and um yeah our sink underneath i'll show you you know this is we have the doors open because that is the best way to keep keep the pipes warm so they don't freeze up and we try to keep our faucets on a very slow drip um we did that all night long yes it's annoying yes i'm like ocd every time i see the cabinets open i try to shut them but it's okay <laughs> The boys had a great time though in the snow. I have to say on Monday, cause they were off anyway. <laughs> they were gonna be off. So luckily they didn't get a snow day. That was just a regular day off, but they were able to play in the snow and they made uh, a snowman. And I'll show you some footage of that right here. Hey, mommy. Freezing snow, throwing a snowball. Oh, I forgot to put my- Oh my goodness, it's snowman. Patio <laughs> furniture. And I think I was in denial. <laughs> I left all my patio stuff out. Oh well. Oh my gosh. That's so cold. You need a big body. That's the biggest one. Yeah. I don't know if I get anything bigger than that up. Keep that there while I make another one. <laughs> <laughs> but I can only pile the other snow onto this like structured snow to make it, you know, stick to it and make it bigger. Oh, this is the regular snow. Structure snow. I call it structure snow. Uh, it, it, it's good for building stuff. Yeah, like this kind of snow. This snow, it's like, it's just like the sticky kind. Now let's start piling our regular snow onto it.
So we're gonna go check out the back area here, our backyard. And it is still cold. I mean, it is in the 20s and it's melting. Here's our outdoor water faucet there. And that seems to work really well. We didn't have any problems losing water, but now we're everything is melting right now. As you can see, it is wet. Just like a wet and damp day right now. Here's our snowman. I don't know what they named him. The boys made a snowman yesterday. It was so cute. So he's getting a little melted there. But yeah, we still have a little bit of snow. Now it's cold, so a lot of it's gonna turn into ice tonight. We're supposed to get more rain mix, snow mix tonight. Um, they're saying maybe more accumulation of snow. I don't know. But again, they've closed schools and the roads are a little bit slick. My husband just went out today. He's been home. We haven't needed to go out. We had everything we needed. But he just went down to get the mail. So let's see. Maybe he can report back and let us know what it's like. I don't know why my boys have sunglasses outside. <laughs> Two of them. Okay. Anyway, I never took my long chairs in. They were covered in snow Monday. But they have. They're okay. Not too bad. So. And I'm still wondering why my neighbor's fans are on. Can you see this? Do you see their outdoor fans? Why are they on? They have been on since the summer. They're on all the time. Do you see that? Is that weird? Okay. Alright. Interesting. Isn't that weird to have your fan on? Like your outdoor patio fan on now? I mean, it's been on, I think... They leave it on all the time. Yeah, a waste of energy, right? It's getting bad. Again, it's starting to, temperature's starting to drop a little bit more. We are due for some mix of freezing rain, possible snow again tonight. So we're getting ready for that. My husband just left to go get some pizza. Luckily, it's just down the street, so. He couldn't order online. He had to actually go down there. So I think he's going to be a little while. There is a wait. There aren't a lot of restaurants um, open. They are opening. So I guess a bunch are opening just at different times. Kind of limited timing. Limited times for like three or four hours at a time. However, they're able to get their staff in, you know, safely. So anyway, I just wanted to today to be kind of like a check-in and have you see a little bit kind of day in the life of what it's like here right now during a winter storm. It's just been, I can't imagine being without power as long as people have been without power. I mean, it's just unimaginable. So we still have our Valentine's Day stuff up. I can show you my um, <laughs> Valentine's Day decor. There's my tear tray. Um, I just kind of put a little bit of everything. These are all from the Dollar Tree. Look at this. This is Dollar Tree. This is Dollar Tree. This is Walmart. I got this a couple years ago. I love this. I had all of my candy hearts in here, but I ate them all. But um, <laughs> I had that. And then I got this cute little picture frame. That's from Dollar Tree. I actually took one of their hearts and put that there. I thought that was cute. I got this little donut shop from Dollar Tree. Probably saw it in my hauls if you hadn't already. I got, well, the straws are from Dollar Tree actually. And the stickers. But this jar, I've had this jar. And then this is that can the um, candle that stinks. <laughs> I mean, it just doesn't work really well. It doesn't have a really good throw, but it's so pretty. I put some um, Valentine's Day stickers on. I thought it looked really cute. And this is the pink sugar maca macaroon. It smells great, but when you light it, it just does not fill up the room. I'm so disappointed. Anyway, what else do I have here? Oh, I have candy. 
Here's that Godiva that I got at Dollar Tree. And then I got these little hearts. You saw that if you hadn't seen my haul video. I got this at Target. Those are really good. They're very, like, sweet. Sweet and sugary. Um, what else do I have? Oh, here's my... <laughs> Here's my Valentine's Day table still up. This tablecloth, let me tell you, is amazing. Like, I got this at Dollar Tree, and usually it's real thin. And you can, you know, the, but this one is so nice. It's, like, actually pretty thick. Like, you can't even really see my hand under there. I mean, it is really nice. Like, I might even try to wipe it up and keep it for next year. I don't know, because it's so nice. And let's see, we have some of our stuff still here. I have these Valentine's Day bags I gave everybody. <laughs> Filled it up with some goodies. We have our Dollar Tree cards. My husband gave me my favorite sunflowers for Valentine's Day. Isn't that gorgeous? He is so thoughtful. He always buys me flowers. And yeah, this is cute. This is another card. Oh, this one fell down. And these are our little Valentine's Day love bug, love bugs. <laughs> Valentine's Day love bugs right here. These are cute. They're like, you can make these crafts. They're from Dollar Tree. So yeah, that was my Valentine's Day setup. The kids, my boys are remote learning, so they did not have any Valentine's Day party at school, but they were just as happy. They got some Pokemon cards and candy. I don't know. I think they've eaten it all. Anybody have? Oh, yeah, my other son, my youngest, he always keeps his stuff. He doesn't eat it right away. My oldest, I think his, yeah, his is pretty much gone. But <laughs> happy Valentine's Day chocolate. Remember this? I hauled this in a um, Dollar Tree haul. He still has that left. And he's got a chocolate or something in there. But yeah, and here's my favorite wreath. I love this wreath. I decorate it with every season. I put some of those little hearts from Dollar Tree. I just took the stems off. They come on stems or like little picks and I just stuck them in there. I don't use any glue because I like to decorate um, like every season. So those are so cute. And then this wreath, I use the felt stickers. And I didn't take them, I just kind of placed them on here, so. Roads are wet, but uh, not, I didn't slip slip one time. Okay, uh, you went to Bucky's. And I went to Bucky's, just uh, nuggets and, uh, Too many and a drink. Too out there. There was a ton of people, but most of them were shopping for whatever groceries they could find. A bunch of okay. people had shopping carts, so. And gas, uh, no problems getting gas. I had no gas. The front pumps are all empty, but the oh. back pumps are it had no problem. So I went right in and filled up our car. Uh, went by Dollar Tree because my wife wanted to make a check, and there was a ton of people in there because, oh, it was only like on that and, and that whole shopping center was only Dollar Tree, Specs, and Home Goods were open. Everything else was closed, and all the other stores were closed. The Pet Store, Ross, wow, all those stores okay. were closed. Okay. It's either they were closed or they just nobody was there because nobody was in the parking lot in front of them. So. Well, everybody's on a hunt to get food, so I guess those places that sell food, like even Dollar Tree has food. So yeah, Dollar Tree's go got food items. Can... So I bet you people are going in there. Bucky's, yeah. they were getting whatever hot sauce they could Where get. Where did you get a Bucky's? There. All Survival I got was items. two things of Beaver Bu Bucky's Beaver Nuggets. Beaver mm. Nuggets. Yes. And then what? Same thing. I just got two flavors. This is oh, for okay. Liam. And this is ours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it. All right. <laughs> Bucky's Nuggets. We got pizza from our favorite pizza place, Double Dave's. Really good. This is like a meat lovers. This one here, what do we call this? This the is like Philly cheesesteak stromboli. Philly cheesesteak stromboli. It is so good. And then, yeah, same here. We got two of them. And we also got root beer. Mm -hmm. Yay, time to eat. Okay, so this just happened just now, like 20 minutes ago. I, <laughs> we have to boil. We're in a boil um, water notice, so we have to boil all of our water. 
we are blessed that we do have water. As you can see, it is dripping. We have them dripping so that they, our pipes don't freeze. We have not lost water. We did notice the pressure was a little low today, so that may be why they've issued the boil notice. So this is, this sucks, right? But again, we are so blessed that we have not had to deal with too many issues. This is the biggest thing I think we've really had um, here at our house is that we have to boil water. So this morning, as we were wondering if we were gonna lose power, we've been prepared for it. Um, we have a bunch of water bottles that we filled up. So I have one here that we can use. This is the master bathroom. So um, yeah, so we have all of our <laughs> sinks dripping, but yet we can't use the water. So I put these signs up, especially for my kids, just to let them know I explained it to them. So they've got it. But yeah, so it is Wednesday night and we just got to notice that we need to boil water. I'm going to kind of close out here. Thank you for watching. It's around eight o'clock. I'm in my bedroom kind of winding down for the night. I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of day in the life in the Texas winter storm that we're having. Um, continue to pray for everyone here in Texas. There are thousands of people still without power. My husband works for a TV station. He's a producer and he works at home. Thank God he hasn't had to travel in this, but he has just seen the devastation that's gone on firsthand and I hear it and I hear the calls coming in from the public people are calling very sounding very desperate crying upset people are just really having a hard time and so I just really want to extend to everyone in Texas that uh, I'm praying for you and I'm just so amazed of how much people are caring for everyone during this time, reaching out to others in need. So I just ask for your prayers. I am doing great. Our family has power so far. We do have water, though we have to boil it right now, but we have been, uh, ultimately, it's we've been very blessed. Be sure to check out my Instagram. I do have an Instagram account. It's Hoffman Happenings. I'll be sure to link it below. I do post updates on there too, and hopefully by next week, I'll have a haul video. Hopefully the weather will warm up. It's supposed to warm up next weekend. We're praying that it will just kind of melt away. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had fun sharing with you our kind of crazy life right now with this winter storm. So hope you are doing well. Have a great weekend. God bless and be kind. I'll see you next time.